Hey guys, I know it's been a while, it's been two months since I posted a video. I've been working on my stop motion, I've been busy, I went on vacation, etc. I started making customs and that's what this video is about. <laughs> but um, I'm going to be planning on doing more videos, I might do reviews, more maybe mocks or behind the scenes on animation or stuff like that. But um, this video, we're going to be going over some of the customs I make and make for other people and I send them out. But yes, yeah, some of these customs are older, so you will see some paint that will be chipped and worn thrown because it's been thrown around, taken outside for pictures, etc. That's what happens to paint, guys. It's just it's something that just happens. So I'll be starting off with what's in the middle right now. Bring them up close. This is just going to show I can do small minor details. Let me focus it a little bit more. Yep. Well, so this is going to do is an iPhone. Um, but I can do small de little details like little lines for ODSTs. I can do visor paint the black right there. I can do his shoulder. That's a little, this is gray paint guys because this is not how he comes. It's just to give him more details and more game accurate paint I guess. That's Buck. Good old Buck. Alright, so in this will show us exactly how small my details can get. Right there. These are really tiny lines, and I'm doing them with a decent sized brush. Surprisingly, it comes out just like this. I'm very happy with how Val came out. I mean, it looks just like the game, or right, close enough for being a mega block, obviously. Whoops. Here's her leg details. I made parts that you see black right there on her bottom leg is just to make it look like it's not all together because most of her leg is exposed in the game. I did do repaint some of the black details like the knee pieces just to give it more pop. I might re-go over these lines to make them look bright and smooth. And that's ODST Val. This is the simple customs that I can do right here. It's a orange Fred with commando shoulder and EVA shoulder. I just gave him some white paint, some white lines, and then a silver wash to bring out the armor details. And it makes it look better. Usually when you get the, any figure wash, you'll see all the details in their mold just pop. Like, it'll look great. It'll look fantastic. And that's what you want. Plus, Spartans are never clean, guys. They're always dirty. They go to war. They fight Covenant. Their blood gets on it. Can't always get it out. Etc. This is one of my favorites. This will actually go into someone on Instagram that sent me an order. It's a oceanic with a midnight metallic blue. I used it for my model kit for my boss Mustang, which turned out really good. And it also turns out good on Mega Box figures because it looks awesome. I love the shine on it. It looks great. It's almost like a dark like purple, but it's blue. It looks like purple in the video, but just how it's gonna be guys. And I painted the red visor in it, did the and then the black around his visor. So that's the oceanic. 
And then this one's like an older custom. It's pretty simple. Just kind of like the thread. White lines. No wash. But it still makes them look like a pretty cool figure. So. It's a cool thing. It's on his shoulders. There's nothing on his backs. Well, besides backpack. But that's it. It's my scout. I also did another scout, but this one's different armor pieces and it, it is black. And wow, he looks awesome. Probably one of my favorite figures of customs I have done. And he is just wow. If you can't tell. Yeah, there's some green exposed right there. I gotta repaint some spots. It's just because of the ball joints. When you move them back and forth, it tears. Uh, some of the paint goes away. That's only if you don't let it dry. I didn't let it dry when I first moved it. My fault. But it can, that shows you how minuscule of detailing I can do. It's pretty tiny detailing. Turned out great. There's nothing on the back. But, yep, that's him. I haven't came up with a name with him. This is my Hellstorm Spartan. I named it myself. I used a old Fred for the armor, and then I used an old style helmet from like one of the old customizer packs. Just had a random tan one. Used it, and that's what it turned out to be. It also has this custom rifle. Looks pretty cool. You even have the blue right there where the number of bullets will tell you are that are in game. Obviously, I can't paint that because that's, that's really small. <laughs> and then just some bad details, and that's about it. We're almost through most of my customs. Here's my favorite Noble Team custom. It's a cat. Looks absolutely amazing. She turned out great. With the black wash, it made everything pop. Even have her. That piece. I can't think of the name right now. But we have that piece right there. And then. I didn't put any shoulder armor on there, I just used a regular arm and then I painted it like halfway up for the robotic arm because even the Mega Bloks version of the cat does not have a robotic arm. Well yeah they do what it does but can't really do anything with it. And then here's some of my other noble team ones, these, these, these all need repaints because they're super old. Carter, but you can see I can do those little details. The red in the helmet, the red lines that go across this helmet, I can do those. It's just faded. George also turned out really good. I use most of my figures from the Skirmish Outlands battle pack or whatever you want to call it to make these noble team figures because I quit for a while for Mega Bloks and I didn't get any of the sets that I had noble team even the one with Emil I mean I made my Emil figure still looks pretty cool I know I went over it in my last video but still can't get the skull eh oh well that's all I can say. There's some, one of, some of the white lines on his shoulder. Yep, and that's a mule. Here's actually one of my super old, one of my very first customs actually. It was like a whole bunch of random color put together to make one figure. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to paint it. And I painted it this color. And you obviously can see different shoulder pieces. 
I just black washed it and solar washed it. And this is what it turned out. Pretty cool. Now this next one is for Megapix. He does reviews on action figures. He just started. Go subscribe to him. His, one of his videos are from Overwatch and and he did a six inch black the black series Star Wars Jango Fett review. Go check it out, it's a pretty good review. But this is his order, his figure. He also had his ODST painted. His helmet for the tracer. That's what it turned out. They should be getting shipped in a couple of days. But um he wanted this figure done. And it turned out awesome. I love the red helmet that I did and then the gray detailing. It just turned out fantastic. The black wash really made him pop. It's outstanding. I love it. I'm sure he'll love it when he gets it. And there's his rifle that he wanted done. Same one that um, the Hellspire has. Yeah, that's him. Here's one of my other favorites. Yeah, that's just a battle rifle I painted. It has to be repainted. And here we go. I just recently got the Vulture gunship. So I got Black, right? Well, I kept looking at him, I kept looking at him, and well, he is just way too dark. It's too dark of a gray. I'm sorry, Megan Blacks, but you guys really made him too dark. So I painted him blue, well not blue, but it's like a sea blue. It looks pretty accurate to the game. Gave him the underbody details, the blue lines that are supposed to be like lit up on him. And then I did it for his visor too, and then the gray and his helmet. Turned He turned out freaking awesome. I love Locke, this figure of him. Obviously, Master Chief still can beat his ass, though. <laughs> I did his yellow line on his helmet, but yeah, he turned out awesome. So, if you guys like my customs, you guys would like any, message me. But if you guys like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I should be posting more videos soon. Oh wait, I did forget. This is the Norfang from Halo 5 for Linda. By the way, that is what chip paint looks like. What it looks like when it's chipped. That's from holding from other figures. I just know I'm not going to do any more painting on the where the figures will be holding the weapons. Just because it's going to chip the paint not gonna look good I mean, obviously the rest of the gun looks great like nothing's all nothing's wrong with it but I can show you that's another example of me going really into detail and this is just a weapon I mean look at the little yellow, little yellow lines oh my god it took forever but yeah remember like comment and subscribe and and it should motivate me to do more videos. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.